Big fight feel, man, in Abu Dhabi. Everyone knows this is the toughest fight, the best fight at 155 pounds, and we are finally here. We will see who is the champion. Can Justin Gaethje get it done, or does Khabib remain the champ and the dominant force in the division? Khabib, in his usual role, is betting favorite, minus 315. Justin Gaethje is plus 250. Gaethje is in blue with the gold trim. Khabib is in the black and gold, befitting a champion. The wait ends for this epic title unification bout. We shall see who has the upper hand. Khabib, pretty relaxed, man, having a moment with you before the fight. Yeah, man, you know, this is a big-time fight, you know, but this guy's been here before. But this is the range that Justin needs to be at. You see how he's far away to where if Khabib does change levels, Justin can defend and see it coming. I really do believe that this is one of the keys to why Justin has made the improvements that he's made. Is that he, look at his footwork, look at his movement. He's never stationary. He's a moving target now. He's not just a zombie trying to walk guys down and make him fight him in a uh, firefight. That's a good point, especially one to make early. There are layers to his game, a lot of setups, and he has impeccable timing with that right hand. We'll see if he can find a home for it tonight. And the kicks. You know, Habib has to try to close the distance here. But you cannot be reckless with a guy that has dynamite in his hands like Justin Gaethje. Right hand from Khabib lands and a nice counter shot from Gaethje. And when you get an athlete like Khabib Nurmagomedov, you know, at times they want to prove that, wait, I'm not so outclassed in this one area of a fight. I can stand. But the moment Justin believes this is a stand-up fight, that is when he's going to try to change levels and get to the legs. You notice Gaethje stands a little lower today, opposed to the Ferguson fight. Mm. Before he was very tall, but right here you see him almost in a lower stance, more of a wrestling stance. Nice jab lands for Nurmagomedov. About two minutes have gone by. There's that patented leg kick from Gaethje. Nurmagomedov has a fantastic jab, man. That pace and pressure of Habib is what separates him from most guys. Justin's going to have to be able to stay with this. Gaethje has successfully thwarted the first takedown attempt of Dramago Medov, who touches the toes to the body there. Right hand lands for Gaethje. Justin needs to tighten it up a little bit, though, man. That's not something you saw much in the Ferguson fight. When he started to throw big shots, Coach Whitman told him, slow it down. You don't have to load up on everything. You don't have to knock him out with every shot. And when Justin did that, it's when he started to really piece Tony Ferguson up. Beautiful body kick lands for Nurmago Medov. Now the jab follows up. It's that pressure, man. Look at the pressure how B puts on you. The whole time he's got Justin on his heels. He's not allowing Justin oh. to take the center of the octagon. Looked like a pretty big knee there, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> so Nurmago Medov realizing some success on the feet here three minutes in. And a lot of that success comes from the idea that Justin has to defend takedowns, John. You see him almost dropping his hands and head every time Habib enters. But look at the pressure that Habib is putting on Gaethje right now. And that left hand a moment ago drew a smile out of Gaethje. Oh, and now another body kick. Romago Medov throws a flying knee, so not necessarily with a point to prove, but this is a well-rounded mixed martial arts. Yeah, he is. And look at the jab of Habib. It's working. He's popping Gaethje, but ultimately he does need to mix in the wrestling. He has only attempted one takedown thus far unofficially. Well, the problem with Justin Gaethje is right now he's trying to react to everything Habib is doing. He's got to find a way to get some respect and stop Habib from walking him down like this. Oh, nice body shot to left hook up top from Gaethje. Habib eats it without issue. Yeah, but that one needs to get respect, right? Every time Justin hits people with that, he gets respect. Right now, Habib's still walking him down. But those leg kicks, beautiful leg kick that gets you. And if he keeps landing those, that'll get some respect. Right hand over the top, partially lands for Gaethje. And again, that front kick of Nurmago Medov, the counter left from Gaethje lands. Beautiful shot there on the double leg, and Nurmago Medov has his first takedown. That's one of his best attacks, right? He shoots the double leg with his head going onto your left side, but ultimately, it looks like it's going left, but it goes to the right, and he ends up on the opposite side and sets you to your hips. Now Habib is exactly where he needs to be in the KC control. He'll start to walk Justin's legs over to the left and split his knees. That'll make Justin want to go to his knees to get away. 
or go the opposite way and Habib will slide right in the mount, which he is right now. So Nurmago Medov trying to punctuate this first round and maybe get a finish, an isolated arm. Final seconds of round one. Strong start for the champion. Great first round by both of these athletes. And in the red corner, they did put some ice on that left leg of Khabib Nurmagomedov, so we will keep an eye on that. And clearly for Trevor Whitman, they want him to attack that furiously tonight. Yeah, and told him to slow it down, right? It's the same message we heard in the Ferguson fight. Slow it down. You don't need a rush. But Habib wants this pace to be very fast. You can see him telling Jason Herz Herzog, let's go, let's go, let's go, as the second round started. Leg kick for Nurmago Medov. Now a combination appear to partially land. <laughs> Left hand behind the ear lands yep. for Gaethje. Beautiful footwork there by Gaethje. He's kind of circling into the power of Nurmago Medov. He's got to be careful going to his left. Another leg kick. Did that, one seemed, yeah, with that. that one seemed to hurt the champ a little bit. You saw Habib take a bad step after that leg kick landed. And now Gaethje goes inside and lands. Nurmago Medal back to the well with that front kick. Oh, beautiful takedown by Nurmago Medal. He gets the back. Wow. Right into the full mount. I mean, that was a fantastic transition with a lot of time. He's going to go right back to that same position. Oh, he's going triangle here. Setting up triangle into the arm bar. Oh, triangle choke by Nomega Metal. Oh, as Gaethje goes back, Oh, it's over. It's over. He's tapping. It looks like he tapped. Khabib Nomega The ego rises again. He chokes Justin Gaethje to sleep. 29 and 0. Unbelievable. Khabib with the beautiful triangle choke finish. I mean, you never know what he's going to pull out next. Justin Gaethje tapped a long time ago. Rev didn't jump in and he went to sleep. But wow, what a performance by the number one pound for, fighter, pound for pound fighter in the world, Khabib Nurmagomedov. And Khabib Nurmagomedov is immediately resorted to tears. And you can be sure, bottling up a lot of those emotions here during this fight week without his late father, Abdulmanat Nurmagomedov. And now that the mission is accomplished and the task is done, he can exhale and an amazing display from Gaethje coming in. Both of these guys managed by Ali Abdelaziz, who is watching intently somewhere in the world, but just too good, man. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Jason Herzog has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 34 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by technical submission due to a triangle choke, and still undefeated and the UFC undisputed lightweight champion of the world, Khabib, the Eagle.